Hi guys and welcome again to my channel. Today we are in uh, our fantastic OpenShift in the web console and uh, we will create uh, a new pod that uh, will be automatically exposed by OpenShift uh, in the cluster through the service and uh, we'll um, subsequently create a route to make um, the pod um, accessible from the outside. All this through the functionalities of the OpenShift GUI. So the first thing that we have to do is find a ready-made image on Docker Hub to be able to run our test. In this case I have found um, uh, an image called uh, uh, Training Web App. Okay. Um, this image will simply start uh, a server in the container which when queried by the browser will return uh, a string with hello world. Now let's copy the name of the image and uh, go back to OpenShift. At the top if you click on add project there is a deploy image. Okay, we don't go to image string tag but directly to image name. Paste the name of the image and press search button. Okay, OpenShift has um, interrogated the, the Docker Hub and has found the image. And below we can find some information that we can change, such as the name that we can modify with by adding a web app test. There are also, also environment variables, labels, uh, that uh, we can uh, change. We deploy everything. OpenShift is now creating the deployment. Uh, okay. The pod has already gone into running and uh, it's active and OpenShift with its features just because we have deployed it in this way has automatically created the service to the pod to expose it in the cluster to manage um, uh, internal traffic. Uh, well, if we create a deployment config manually then uh, throw the YAML files, this will not happen, so it will be our task to manually create image stream, routes, services with YAML file for everything to work correctly. Special attention should be given to containers, um, as they cannot be exposed on port lower than uh, 1024 because OpenShift uses port lower than 1024 to manage internal communication. So pods will not work properly. So as often happens, if you find, for example, a Docker image exposed on port 80, the pod will not work because pods on OpenShift are created in non-root mode. I like Docker and you are not allowed to use the port. In all cases, to create a route to expose the pod to the outside, we go here on create route and here we will see various information which can be associated with the route. The pod is open on port 5000, the service opens the connection on port 5000 and the route forward the traffic on 5000 to ensure that everything works. For now I don't make any changes as OpenShift will automatically insert all the necessary data. Let's go directly to create and uh, the route will be added to the pod. As you can see the route has been created, if we click on the link the server in the pod has responded 
to our request from the browser and we see the hello world string on the top of the page. Okay. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for your attention. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like uh, if you liked the video and see you next. Thank <laughs> you.